In this video, I'll show you how to extract the contents of Windows Executable.exe and Microsoft Installer.msi files without actually running the installer. This can be very helpful if you want to see what's inside an installer or if you want to use a program as a portable application. Let me show you how it's done. First, to keep things organized, create a new folder and name it Extracted. Next, copy the path to this folder. In the description box below, you'll find four commands. Copy these into a text editor like Notepad. In each command, replace the placeholder folder path with the path you just copied. Now open command prompt in the same location as your executable.exe file. Drag and drop the exe file into the command prompt window, then copy the first command from your notepad file. Back in the command prompt window, press the space bar once, and then right-click to paste the command. When everything looks correct, press Enter. If nothing happens, don't worry. Simply try the other three commands one by one. In my case, the third command worked. Now let's check the extracted folder. As you can see, the process was successful, and one of the new files is the actual .msi installer file. Our next step is to extract this .msi file. To do this, we'll need a tool called LessMSI. It's an open source project, and you can check out its source code on GitHub if you're interested. For now, let's download the application using the provided link. Once the download is complete, extract the zip file. Run the less MSI GUI application. Don't worry, you don't have to install it as it's a portable app. In less MSI, select the .msi file and wait a few seconds for the program to load all the data inside it. Finally, click Select All, and then click Extract. Choose the folder where you want to save the final files. Navigate to that folder, and you will see all the files from the original installer. You can now copy this entire folder anywhere on your computer or a USB drive to use the application portably. For easy access, you can create a desktop shortcut for the main application file, and it should work without any issues. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.